Hey you, so the hottest season of the year is finally upon us, and I mean that in more ways than one. Summer is a great way to express your personal style, add a few new items, and create some new outfits. But you wanna make sure that you do yourself justice, right? Unfortunately, summer fashion faux pas are really easy to make, but don't worry, I got you. Let's dive in and check out some summer style mistakes and how to avoid them. So one of the biggest mistakes you can make in the hot, summer months is not taming that armpit hair and really everywhere else for that matter. Now it can be pretty damn off-putting to see a hairy untamed beast emerge from the water at a pool party. Like who invited the Yeti? Now I'm not saying you have to go totally hairless. Let's leave that to the Olympic swimmers. But a little trimming does go a long, long way. Make sure your armpit hair isn't, you know, sprouting a life of its own under there. A full bush poking out from under each arm makes even the most charming and distinguished guy seem unkempt. While I'd recommend keeping up this body grooming maintenance habit, you know, just year round, what you do when you're wrapped up in the winter months is your business. But in summer, when you're, you know, strutting around with a jungle on your chest, it kind of becomes everybody else's. Now, trust me, gentlemen, once it's beach season, the body trimmer is your best friend. So naturally, tight clothes, they're the enemy of summer outfits, and you absolutely need your clothes to breathe, plus to be able to breathe in your clothes. Now that said, you don't wanna slide all the way into extremely baggy territory. Now, depending on your look, this can come across as super sloppy or worse, like you're a little kid that's stuck with hand-me-downs from taller, older siblings. Something tells me that as a sharp dressed man, you're not striving for that look this summer. The oversized look is problematic at best, yet guys think they can just get away with it and you know, even more in the summertime. Trust me, you can't. Pack it up, Sandler. The key to avoiding looking too floaty in your light summer pieces is balance, balance, balance. Summer is all about those relaxed fits, like those button down linen shirts, but you can balance them out with chino shorts or pants in a slim or straight cut. Same goes for the reverse. Now, if it's a loose fitting pant you want, make sure to balance it out with a slim or regular fit shirt. Easy. Hey, so you got a polyester suit that you're thinking of wearing to a summer wedding, right? Not anymore, you don't. All right, so wearing the wrong fabrics during these hot months can have dire consequences. One, you're overheating and sweating like crazy, and sweat stains are very hard to ignore. Who? That cheap blend of fabric is gonna really bring out that B.O. Summer is all about relaxation and making the most of the heat, not suffering through it. And you're gonna wanna do yourself a favor and stick to these lightweight and breathable fabrics. Linen, it's always a foolproof summer fabric. Plus, it looks great. And cotton, cotton, cotton. Your t-shirts, your short sleeve button ups, your polos and chinos, cotton, cotton, cotton. Also, that big shaggy beard you spent all winter rocking, it's gotta go. This is where the sponsor of this video, Use, comes in. Their mini rechargeable rotary shaver can be taken everywhere and is so small that it can be easily thrown in your pocket, backpack, or briefcase. Also, their triple foil shaver features ECM technology for a smooth and skin-friendly shave every time. So what I really love about these razors though is their sleek and modern die-cast alloy design. Now they have a scratch-proof body with an IPX7 waterproof rating that makes them both super durable and easy to clean using, you know, just rinsing or brushing. Also, each shaver features a Type-C fast charging port and comes with a stylish leather case that makes them super easy to take with you everywhere. Use is offering my viewers, that's right, an exclusive discount, which you can access by using the link and code provided down in the description box. May the use be with you. Now, I know this next one is controversial. I know that they're comfortable. I know that you can get them in every color under the sun, but this is the hill I've chosen to die on. Crocs will never be stylish. Not unless you're a toddler, which you aren't, or a senior citizen with who could I mean, frankly do better. Crocs on their own are pretty damn offensive to the discerning eye, but the ultimate crime you could commit with these heinously ugly shoes, wearing them with socks. I mean, guys, this has to be a human rights violation against good taste. Now, sandals, I've got nothing against, within reason. 
it's totally fine to pop on a pair of some classic grown-up sandals like Birkenstocks if you're at a pool party or hitting the beach. But under no circumstances should you be wearing them in the city you know, just exposing your toes to the elements. Think very carefully about your sandal usage this summer and retire those worn out thong flip flops while you're at it. On the subject of feet, what's good, Quentin Tarantino? If you choose to expose them at all, those dogs had better be <laughs> well taken care of. I'm talking, you know, trim those nails, sand those calluses, and just keep everything moisturized. Now, you might think, Ashley, that's a step too far. But trust me, it's not. It's a step in the right direction. Am I toeing the line with these feet puns yet? Pretty proud of myself. <laughs> but seriously, anyone's feet can be kind of icky at the best of times and super gross at the worst. When we're wrapped up all winter long, laced into heavy boots, we can totally forget about our feet. So just a little maintenance can really help you stand out. Last one, I'm sorry. <laughs> Now get yourself a pumice stone from Amazon, sand down your feet in the shower, finish off with a little moisturizer afterwards. Clip your toenails to keep them, you know, nice and neat. And in no time, those feet of yours can be summer ready. What is it about hot weather that makes some men wanna layer up on accessories all of a sudden? I get that you might, you know, wanna spice things up with a bracelet here or a chain there, but remind yourself of the less is more principle. You don't want to weigh yourself down with, you know, 10 beaded bracelets and a chain and a hat. This is going to make your outfit look totally overwhelming, not to mention uncomfortable. If you're looking to add some extra elements to your outfits this summer, I totally applaud you, but make it one or two details at the absolute most. So this gives you a chance to, you know, rotate the pieces that are in your collection, giving your look a fresh spin each time. Summer is a great chance to experiment with colors and patterns you might not usually wear. For example, if you're partial to monochrome usually, you might wanna try, you know, some stripes or shades that are outside your wheelhouse. That's great until it isn't. Make sure you have some consistency with the patterns and colors that you choose so it doesn't look jumbled up and confusing. You don't wanna go pairing a patterned shirt with some striped shorts just for the hell of it. Unless, you know, you're doing some kind of get ready with me in the dark with a blindfold TikTok challenge. <sighs> okay, so the shortcut here is to balance everything out with a neutral color. So you got a patterned shirt, go for a neutral colored short. You got a colored pant, you know, pair it with a neutral shirt. This keeps your outfit looking consistently sharp and not like you're trying too hard to use every color or pattern in your wardrobe. Don't overwhelm yourself. It's all about letting that one chosen piece stand out. Now, this is one you might not even think about. Are you wearing sunglasses that don't suit your face shape? If you are, you are doing yourself a real disservice. I actually think the wrong sunglasses can make you look ugly, tacky, or just not stylish. If you've got a more angular face, like a triangle or a square shape, rounded frames like, say, aviators, for example, they're your best friends. However, if you've got a round face, you're going to want to veer away from those circular, you know, John Lennon style shades. Wear sunglasses with rounded, softer edges will look awesome on you. Also, another style tip, remember to incorporate patterns like tortoiseshell or, you know, a lighter colored frame to just to better complement your summer outfits. Yet another touchy subject when it comes to summer, exposing too much skin. I get it. You've worked your butt off all winter long to achieve your summer body goals and you deserve to show off your hard work, truly. But there are limits, guys. Opting to wear muscle tees, tank tops, or unbuttoning your shirt so low that you might as well whip it off isn't the way to do that. It can come off as a little tasteless and try hard. I mean, have we forgotten the damage that MTV's Jersey Shore did so quickly? You've got to trust that we'll be able to see all your hard work easily just by the way your clothes sit on you. You'll have that glow of fitness confidence, which is so much sexier than actually exposing your abs unprompted. Plus, constructing a you know well thought out look will be totally flattering for your body type. Save you know stripping down for the beach or pool. I guarantee that it'll be way more appreciated by the women and men. 
Guys, okay, so this is a hard one for me too. Black is my all time favorite color and usually a foolproof solution to any styling problem. But in the summer, when the temperatures are crawling upwards, it's a huge no-no. As sophisticated as an all black ensemble may look in any other season, black in summer is a red flag. It absorbs all the sun, that's heating you up beyond belief, and it just looks super uncomfortable and unapproachable. Now, if you're dead set on your loyalty to darker colors, try navy. But I've gotta stress that, you know, get out of your own comfort zone, make some friends with some lighter shades of colors. I mean, you don't have to absolutely go crazy on color, but blues, greens, and whites are perfect staples for any wardrobe. If your fall or winter boots are still hanging out front and center of your closet come summertime, I need to ask, for what actual reason? I get that if you know you live somewhere with the long tough winters, it might be hard to break your emotional attachment to these guys, but they are way too heavy for the season. They won't just weigh you down, they'll weigh your whole outfit down, leaving you oddly dressed and overheated. For summer, you should be retiring anything heavier than a chukka or a suede Chelsea boot to the way, way, way back of your wardrobe. As far as footwear goes for summer, my recommendations include low rise sneakers, lightweight espadrilles, and driving mocks. Now these shoes can be matched to almost any summer outfit you can think of. So another amazing example of just because it's popular doesn't mean it's good. The dreaded denim cutoff. Jorts, for some godforsaken reason. I mean, they have risen in popularity over the last couple of years. Someone, tell me why. No matter how fitted they are or how many shades they come in, they don't look good. They've never looked good and they will never look good. Plus, denim in the summer, I mean, it's kind of a dangerous game to play. Not necessarily the most breathable fabric, so why would you bother doing it in shorts? Now, the best bet is to go for a pair of always classy, flat, front shorts. They come in just as many colors as jorts, probably even more, and they look a hundred times more put together. Now, the weave of the fabric also means they're lighter, and that makes them far more comfortable in the heat. So how can you lose? Step away from those cutoffs, and remember that you're a sharp dressed man with an impeccable sense of style. So you're a human being living on planet Earth, so I definitely don't need to explain the benefits of SPF to you. Now, what I will do though, is remind you to invest in some. The last thing you want is to walk around with a wild looking farmer's tan all summer long. A little color is great, but a bright red face and forearms is totally not the look. Just remember, you should be looking for a minimum of SPF 30 and applying it before you step out your front door. Visible ankle socks are, without a doubt, one of my major icks. Picture it. You've got a perfectly put together outfit, maybe a short sleeve button up with some chino shorts paired with some low rise sneakers, then bam, an awkward ring of old off white ankle socks peeking out from your shoes and ruining the whole presentation. I mean, it's a shame and something a lot of men fall victim to. Now an exposed sock looks sloppy and takes away from an otherwise stylish outfit. That's why I'm always preaching the universal greatness of the no show sock. These babies are an essential now that we're cruising into summer and say it with me, mankle season. Now retire the ankle socks and refresh your collection with some no shows. Trust me, this is a small investment with a huge payoff. 